Thanks for watching Heart of Cedars Television, HCTV. Up next on today's lineup, Cooking with Cedars. After the team shares a great recipe, host and CEO of Cedars, Jim Blue, will take you behind the scenes to share some special needs and how you can help. Welcome to Cooking with Cedars. Today I have a great team of chefs with me, and together we'll be making a wonderful Heart of Cedars salad. First, you'll need about 20 kitchen towels, whatever variety is your favorite. Just place them in the bowl gently. Next, we're going to add one medium-sized welcome mat. Be sure to slice it up nicely. Now, we're moving on to our secret ingredient, one large ripe basketball. And there you go, your very special heart of cedar salad. And that's the perfect recipe to help us make our space safer and more welcoming for the kids here at Cedars. Our website is cedarskids.org, and thank you very, very much. Welcome to Cedars, and welcome to the Heart of Cedars television show. Hey, we're going to try to have some fun, but we're here for a very important reason. Uh, this is an important facilities process. We have completed phase one and that has done a wonderful job of protecting the safety of the kids. And now we're on the urgent phase, which is constructing the new kitchen and dining room to protect the kids. You know, we serve over 150 kids in our emergency shelter every year. We have such a responsibility. The community has such a responsibility to not only protect their safety, but show them that this community cares about them. And I know you do. So I want you to have some fun today, please. But please know this is really important for the kids' safety and for our community's future. We have some property people that are going to be joining us. I hope you don't mind. We will be right back with you after this commercial break. TV property people Lincoln edition and don't miss this it's not something we've done before we visit Cedars a nonprofit in Lincoln Nebraska with some big challenges to tackle in their emergency shelter it's a great organization that's working to keep kids safe and we get to be part of that Okay, we're here at Cedars. Did you know they've been helping kids for more than 70 years? Yes, uh, for kids with nowhere else to turn, they've been so, so important. This is the only emergency shelter in Southeast Nebraska. Could you imagine being a kid or a teen and not feeling like you had a safe place to go? Kids just wanna feel at home, they wanna feel secure. I'm glad Cedars is here. Absolutely, and it's gotta take a lot of hard work to make it all happen, especially in the midst of a public health crisis. Yeah, since the pandemic, they haven't been able to use the dining space at all. They've been serving the kids uh, meals in take-home containers so they can spread out. Not very homey. Let's see what we can do. This is Jim Blue, he's the president and CEO here at Cedars. He's gonna tell us what we're working with. Now this is a really small and kind of an impossible area to work with, with virus precautions. And it's also kind of in a high traffic area, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it is really important that we create this new kitchen and dining room and activity space for the kids and families in our care even. Uh, when this was constructed in 1953, we were clear, it was clear on the east side of this building and that was cool. But today we're serving so many more kids. We've added on to this building over the years. It is not just a hallway, it's an intersection. It's not safe for the kids. It's not as private as we need. Uh, so this is a really important initiative to do this and we're so grateful for your help in doing it. Thank you. So as a dining space, this is, this is pretty small. It's very small. I mean, I'm not a big person. I'm the size of a large child, small teen. So you can tell, not a lot of space, especially if you want a distance. 
I mean, it seems like for the layout of the building, it's just more of a thoroughfare than an actual dining space. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this, this, this can't be more than 12 to 14 feet. Definitely not. And I mean, you have so many people just coming through in and out all the time. There's no way to keep people safe. I'm just thinking there's not a possible way to rearrange this uh, or to remodel this space. We sort of need a new space altogether. What if they did this as a multi-purpose room? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. There's so tons of options and there's a lot of space for that. Definitely. It okay. could work much better. So then what do we need to do to get these kids back eating family style safely? So we probably should have broken ground yesterday. Well, let's do that. Let's get to it. This is not an ideal kitchen to cook for a family of 20 some or more a day. Drew, one of the chefs here at Cedars, how in the world do you make that happen in such a small space? Well, it hasn't been easy and our capacity has actually doubled um, over the last few months. And uh, we're doing more with less, and we're our, the worst part is that I don't even get to see the kids anymore because we had to close the dining room and we're taking the food to their areas so there's no co-mingling. And uh, that's definitely been the hardest part. We'll see what we can do to get those kids back in the dining room so you guys can see each other. So here's what we're gonna do here. Create an all new kitchen and dining space that will allow kids and staff to eat together again safely. Update the kitchen so it can be efficient and create all those meals. Convert the existing space into a multi-purpose area for kids' activities, foster parent training, and more. Start now. This is gonna be a lot of work, but I think this is gonna be also a lot of fun. Oh. Hello? Hey, Tia. How are you? Oh, let me put you on speakerphone. This is Tia. She works with the children at the center. Hey guys, I just wanted to call and share some things with you as you're playing our new kitchen and dining area. Um, at Cedars here, I work with the kids a lot and I know that they've been through a lot of hard times. Uh, they come to us specifically because their home lives really aren't all that great. And so when they have people here at Cedars that really do care for them, like you guys, we're so grateful that you guys are wanting to work on the kitchen with us. Um, we haven't really been able to have a really good space for a long time, for a couple months, just with the pandemic going on. And so we we can't thank you guys enough for taking this opportunity to really stop by and really take your time on this kitchen. Wow, that was powerful. This might be the most important job we've ever had. <laughs> I'm really, really glad that we get to help Cedars, but we're gonna need a lot more help if we're gonna make this happen fast. So let's go get them. We're going to Cedars. They've called us in on a very important project. Well then, clearly they need me. You can sit this one out. We'll just see about that. So here we are at Cedars in Lincoln, Nebraska. They have all sorts of programs and services to support kids and families. Now, this is a nonprofit organization and this is obviously a business entrance, so no problem, right? But you're wrong, because Cedars also offers a youth emergency shelter. It's actually very home-like, as it should be, but everyone uses this entrance. Well, this isn't very homey. I mean, I keep thinking about my own kids and how frightening this would be for them. And once they're inside, they're surrounded by people while working. They have to take a series of hallways and turns to get to, they don't even know where. It would really not feel calming. And we can do so much better with this outdoor space. We must change this. Okay, here is what we must accomplish, create a new, private and dedicated entrance to the emergency shelter. Make sure the arrival area feels open and welcoming. 
create a new driveway area for those who are coming with kids or people coming to visit the kids. Create great outdoor space so the kids can enjoy outdoor activities in their free time. I already have ideas that will make them love it. You always go way too overboard. This we can accomplish with a twist. Let's get started. This is exactly what they need. I'm so excited to show them. Hey bud, we absolutely want this to be nice, but we're with a tight budget and we're working with generous donors. Okay, that's better. We are just so excited to show you what we have. The new entrance will be private and welcoming. The driveway makes it seem more purposeful and convenient for visitors. That's just absolutely amazing. The shelter will feel even more like a home. The sports courts give the kids a wonderful place to play and socialize and get active. And this just enhances the already beautiful Cedars campus. Look at that entryway. I think it's just going to be so much more welcoming for kids and family. Wait, wait. This is overkill. May I show you with a few simple twists. Voila! Mission accomplished. Uh... <laughs> all of the details of her plan without all the fuss, muss, and money. <laughs> and look, basketball. <laughs> I'm not real sure what to say, actually. I do. Just say no. The kids at Cedars deserve better. Hey, thank you for joining us for this bit of fun here today. This is, of course, a very serious project, though. This is essential to keep the kids safe. And that's what the mission of this organization is. It's about safety, it's about stability, and it's about family. Unfortunately, too many of these kids, you are their family. I wish I could speak with each one of you to let you know how important you are in their lives. But your support is critical to their future and our future. So thank you. We appreciate you.